I found a pretty interesting piece of roller skate technology that I'd like to share with you. It's uh, unbelievably simple, elegantly simple. And we're about to find out whether or not it, it's up to snuff. So this uh, sweet action roller skate right here, made by Roller Derby, has this very interesting uh, turning mechanism with what they call torsion beam. And it's essentially, as the name implies, a torsion beam and it uses absolutely no mechanical mechanisms to do the very simple act of turning. So it's just got the beam that's floating above a stop. And where's the turning action come from? Can you hold it from this angle and show me? It comes down the length of this beam. So kind of looks like the an beam, eye beam. The beam twists, right? Yeah, the beam is twisting and torquing itself. And that's what allows the axle to articulate to allow it to turn. So it's a it's an unbelievably stupid simple concept. There's no moving parts. This is the mechanism right here. Yeah. That's all there is to it. It's a material science. The material is just rigid enough to hold its shape, but it's soft enough to allow it to deform, which allows the axles to move in a way that they would be yeah. turning. The path of least resistance is the path that makes it turn. So, so it's pretty cool. There's no pivots, there's no bushings, there's no bolts. So what you see is what you get. So we did some reading on these, and they, this, these have been around since 2009, this design. And so far, it looks like they've only been used in designs for um, kids' skates. But it looks like they just came out with a new design um, for the rental market um, that actually uses the same concept that comes in adult sizes. So, yeah, I mean, you can imagine how it'd be easy for an adult to, to overwhelm and break this system. Um, but they, they, I think they must have made some, some additional innovation to allow it to support an adult weight without breaking. And all the reviews I've read about these things is actually really good. For instance, this exact pair, um, it looks like they were selling at Walmart for $18 a set. Yeah, there's no moving parts or anything. It'd be super easy to manufacture. Mm -hmm. And the little kid can just throw them on and go tear assing around in the neighborhood and have a good time. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty cool it's a very concept. very simple simple way of doing things. So of course, <laughs> <laughs> over here at Longboard Technology, we had to turn the thing into a little micro skateboard. So we're about to find out whether or not it can withstand the abuse of, of Riley here. <laughs> you just put this thing together and about to see what she can do. Woo! Whoa, she's got some deck tip. It's working. It's working. I think it feels good. It feels pretty good. I had to go fast. <laughs> Speed <laughs> test! Let's find that pedal hill. But yeah, I mean, compared to uh, the vintage board with the, with the vintage indies on, or the vintage tri uh, traditional kingpins, I mean, those things were really clunky. Yeah. This actually has some nice fluid turning. Yeah. All right, I guess we're about to experience the underside of the skateboard deck. Don't break it off.
Let's see if they're fatiguing. Seems all right. No obvious signs of fatigue. This one's oh. showing quite a bit. Yeah, this one is though. So it was it was discolored before just by a little bit, but now it's discolored a lot. Yeah. So the roller derby torsion beam roller skate truck seems to be all it's cracked up to be. It's an extremely simple concept that actually does function and can be turned into a little micro skateboard. I'm impressed. I think that uh, there's a lot to be said about the material that uh, is being used to make this thing work and could be an opportunity to make some radical skateboard technology in the future. This is Longboard Technology bringing you the latest in roller skate technology. Over and out.